Hey, how's it going? This is Kevin from Audio Digital, and I'm back with a supplemental to the Falcon versus Serum video I did before. Someone in the comments uh, told me that you can use the same exact wavetable in both synths and that that would be a better comparison, which I absolutely agree with. So I went ahead and loaded the exact same wavetable in both synths so that we can compare it and get a more definitive answer to the question of sound quality when it comes to wavetables. So let's get started. So this is going to be Falcon. Here's Serum. Sound pretty close to my ears. Let's go up into the higher register and see if we can hear any difference there. I'm hearing a little noise towards the attack of this uh, wavetable. But that's not there on the Falcon. Uh, I think we can also see it in the scope here. Look down here and we're getting a little bit of jaggedy, but not very much. And let's switch over to Falcon. I'm, I'm sorry, this is Serum. And we see all kinds of crazy jaggedies down here. So what I think we can conclude from this is when we're scanning through a wavetable, Falcon interpolates more smoothly and doesn't add a lot of noise and artifacts while we're scanning through the waveform. But let's also see what happens when we are just holding a regular waveform and see how clean that is. I'm just going to initialize the preset so that we can get this single square wave. And I'm gonna go over here and do the same thing. Uh, let's go to Sawtooth. And this is a straight up sawtooth. So let's listen to these. I'm just gonna listen to them in the higher register so we can see if there's any aliasing. Falcon first. Serum. Falcon. Serum. This one, you know, it's kind of close here. I think when if we want to tell, we look at the scope here and. Falcon, we definitely got some jaggedies going on here and some movement. Serum, now that is rock solid. I don't see even the slightest motion. And that's really good for this uh, high of a frequency. Here we got jaggedies. Here we have a bit of a brighter sound and rock solid. So that's kind of a... Uh, I don't know, when you're scanning through, it seems like Falcon is the clear winner here. When you're holding a wave cycle, Serum is the, the solid, the most solid that I've seen. It's, there's, there's no um, aliasing at all uh, that I can see in the scope here, which is a pretty impressive feat. Now, just to add a little bit more interest to this, um, Comparison, let's go ahead and look at the analog oscillator in Falcon and see if it gives us much aliasing at all. So Falcon. Now look, that's rock solid. This is Serum again, Falcon. So definitely it looks like Serum, it has a brighter sawtooth here. And uh, this, uh, I guess maybe it's trying to model analog a little more so it's not as bright, but there's no ali aliasing at all and there's no noise down at the lower register here. So you can get a very clean, simple waveform out of Falcon, but it seems as though whatever they're using, the algorithms they're using to interpret these wavetables uh, gets you a super clean sound with no aliasing um, with any of the uh, the different waveforms that it's capable of. And that's very impressive. Whereas here, if you want a perfectly clean waveform, you're limited to one of these guys. So uh, what's that 
conclusion there. I don't know, maybe a draw. Um, I like the fact that you can do really clean wave scans, and that's probably mostly what I'm going to be using the wavetable synthesis for. Um, but I do also like very clean single cycles. So I don't know, should we call it a draw or what? I don't <laughs> They're both really great. So I guess you'll have to decide which aspect is more important to you and uh, which one you're going to get behind, Team Falcon or Team Serum. Now there is a um, Serum, I'm sorry, a Falcon versus Contact review coming out pretty soon that I'm working on. And that one should be a very interesting comparison. So stay tuned, subscribe, and if you enjoyed this, give me a like. And please enjoy being creative.